Now we're gonna proceed to install all camo. So what you need for camo is uh, easiest way is install through OPAM. And OPAM can compile it from sources. And OPAM itself will be compiled, but I prefer to go the easy way and download a binary. So pick the binary for Linux 64 and do a wget on that. Uh, the reason why I do a wget instead of uh, using the link is because my uh, debian machine is a VM so I'm actually running the web browser on the on the host and on the guest. So once it's downloaded I rename it to opam, uh, set the execution flag and copy it into user local bin. Then you can run opam init, pass the comp flag and it will build the compiler for that specific version. 404.0 is the latest one as at this time. Uh, it's important to pass the F pick uh, to build in order to be able to build uh, dynamic libraries. So this is gonna take a while because it's um, it's building the compiler. So once that's done you can ask it to, to uh, update your profile, batch profile, and uh, you it would create a shell script that sets the environment variable properly. You can also eval that line in order to update the, the current shell, or you can uh, log off and log in. I'm checking that OCaml still. Uh, no, no, I'm checking OCaml works now. Uh, and uh, then installing some uh, additional libraries. Time and libff5dev are required by a couple of packages that I will install later. Uh, this package is um, okay. So the opam, uh, the opam uh, basic packages, uh, a core, ctabs and ctabs foreign is for communication with C, C interrupt basically. And I have bit string and do log. Do log. Do log is a logger, and bit string is for parsing binary strings. Uh, the opam will, package manager will download and install all that stuff. So this is also gonna take a while, but it's uh, fully automated. And once it completes, you have a working installation of Camel.